they tell me, pro man, you done made it. You done came up from the bottom. You successful in the things we striving for. My dude, you got them. I said you stand corrected, cause I just can't take that credit. I ain't nothing, I'm just someone who believes the one that did it. This yeah. is in my life. This is my life. I'm about with a price that's right, right. This is in my life. This is my life. I'm full of that life, no night, night. This is in my life. This is my life. He picked me back up, show me his love. Rush me the fuck up and whip by the blood. So sit there and tell me that wasn't a scary. There ain't nothing like this feeling that I'm feeling. I'm forgiven. Yeah. I was with lost, but now I'm found. And boy, I'm glad I'm living. Yeah. I should have died on Benson, man. I should have died in prison. Yeah. But God, he picked me up and filled my cup. And now I'm sipping. Look at my life. You see that I'm blessed, huh? Came up out of the mess, huh? Yeah. A beautiful wife, a beautiful son, huh? Yeah. You can see I done came off. Homie, that's fame, <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How's it going, How's it going everybody? On? What's going on out there? Out there. God bless you. Bless you. Batman, man, what's going on? We got you going. Yes, sir. Sorry we late, man. We had an outage. We had an outage in my little Charm City area. Crazy. Hey, man, Charm, Charm City better get it together, man. Yes, <laughs> wife, wife is upset. He was upset. Yeah, oh, oh man, it's all good, man. You know, uh, like we always say, man, God, God's gonna do what He do, and you know, no, no devil anywhere is gonna stop what He does. So you know, um, right. stop what the Lord does, anyways. Thank God for that, man. Uh, Batman, how you doing today, man? Yeah, we good, man. We um, we had a little, little. Uh, we had a couple visitors here, man. Uh, started with last night at Shalonda. Williams Inspirational Treasure, you know, her show comes on Tuesday night at 10, run all the way to midnight. She was here from uh, Savannah, Georgia, man. Stop through, oh, okay. hang out with Batman and, and, and Jordan, and had some fun, man. We, we shot a film, short film, two, two short films, matter of fact. And um, oh, did, Lord. Some, did some stuff for cable. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it was nice, man. We just, she just left, just left. Yep. So uh, we had a good okay, time. Sure. We got the pastor in the queue today. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. House, what's up, sir? All right, man. I was just going to tell you, uh, don't go up on the top of the house if your wife's upset now. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't mess with, you can't mess with your lady's cable, man, you know. <laughs> no, nah, man. Say that. <laughs> I can dig it. Yeah, How's man. everybody doing? Yeah, we good, oh, brother. Great. That's good. Oh, bless Amen. the Lord. We bless. Praise the Lord, Batman. Uh, yeah, we ready for we ready for for a good show, man. We ready for yeah. a really good show. You know, right. absolutely. Every Thursday, man. I just want to remind everybody. Starting next week, we're going to have a triple podcast on Thursday night. That's right, Patrice mm. and Catrice. That's right, P and K. P and K will be oh. here with their Sunday tea party <laughs> right before No Judgment Zone. <laughs> and then oh, we got late that now coming on at midnight, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So it's gonna be exciting on Thursday, man. It's just the lineups just get better and better. God is good. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. He added to you, man. He added to your network, man. I remember uh Jerry Royce, man, when you was uh when it was just you and Superwoman, you might have had maybe a couple of uh other shows, man, and since I've known you, man, your this stuff been blown up, man. Right, man. I was, I think Tina and I was doing like, uh, shoot, every show. <laughs> Monday yeah, y'all Friday. doing the most of it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I met Tina on your show. Hey, y'all have to get yep. me the interview. Absolutely. Yeah, and I don't know, if Bishop, Bishop may never heard the story, man, but we actually met in Florida at the um, Radio Alliance Awards. I don't know if yeah, Bishop know that. Oh, he didn't, you know. Yeah, man, it was it was something yeah, to seeing people that you uh, connect with, you know, on Facebook. That was a, that was our first award show too, man. That first, you know, little experience dealing with uh, people from radio. That was awesome. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that was my first award show too. So praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, many more to come. So I mean, like we were saying uh, last couple of shows ago, it's so many of them. They get bigger and better. I mean, these guys are almost at the level of the Stellar Wars. I mean, they 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 just right around the corner, you know. Of course, oh, they, you know, the Stellars they really pull out that big red carpet and that thing looking like BET and the Grammys. If you get a chance mm-hmm. to look at some of it, um, 
you know, just this, this, this search it on Facebook and see, you know, and it's on you on, on your side of town too, man. So it'll be easy for you guys to, to be part of that, you know. Yeah, we're going to have to pull up one day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. There's limbo Absolutely. out there. Right, come out there uh, like Christian gangsters, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, glam. Oh, glam up. That's right. Man. Everybody got experience at least one time. The Stellars, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, matter of fact, yeah. my girl, if we do it next year, man, we're going to let you guys know, man, so we all can meet up, man. All right? Yeah. Come on. Absolutely. All right. That sounds good. All right. All right. Look, on me, you guys have a great show, man. And all, like always, it's great talking to you both. Y'all have a great weekend. I'm celebrating my wedding anniversary Friday. Uh, there's no Amen. next man up. So we're going to be off for the whole show. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think we got, I think it's 27 years. <laughs> oh, mm. like yeah. Nice. yeah. That's right. Life is Keep good. Riding it. Keep riding, man. Jerry, keep riding, man. Yeah. Right, happy life. I know the song. Yeah, I know the song. So, Miguel, yes, I'm, I'm going to send you guys some information, man, but we're going to take off the whole month of April. We hate to tell everybody that, but next man up, Christian Party Line, we're going to give everybody a spring break so we come back refreshed, more scripture, more discussion, more teaching, more preaching. And we want Bishop to be Amen. part of that, too. We got to bring Bishop on board, man, to hang out with us. No doubt. Come on, Jim. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Have a good show. All right. All right. Praise the Lord, man. What's going on, Pastor? How you doing? Hey, man. How you doing, bro? Everything's all right? Oh, man. It's all right, man. You know, we. Uh, I'm excited for Thursday, you know, because we get to uh, take our conversation, you know, our conversation in the Lord. We get to take it to the airwaves. You know, so yeah. Uh, yeah. For, those, uh, for those joining us, man, you know, we got to do our – we got to do our standard procedure, you know, welcome everybody to the, you know, no judgment zone. This is a no judgment zone. The reason it's Man, called that's that. the emphasis. Come on. <laughs> that is, the reason it's called that is because you're going to hear some things from some people that may not look, sound, or come from where you would typically think church folks come from. Come on. And we're not, you know, of course, we're going to use wisdom, but we're not shying away from anything that might be too touchy. Amen. Um, We're not running from any kind of topic. We're not shying away from who we are in the Lord. We're not, um, you know, intimidated by the forces that be. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about that real quick in a minute. Um, You know, because... We understand what God has done in our lives. We understand what God has done in the lives of other people. And if we're going to reach a generation, this generation, cats really have to be real about who they are in the purpose God gave to them. You know, we, we, there's too many uh, Christian robots out there, Pastor. You know, too many people, that are, too many people are programmed. You know, to sound a certain way, come dressed a certain way. You know, it's funny. It's hard to even get conversations out of certain brothers and sisters because it's like the moment you greet them, all of a sudden it's like you become a, a congregation to them and they got to preach to you. And as if you're the – and it's like, wait a minute, can we just have a dialogue? Like, can we just be cool? Like, we, you know, like we, uh, <laughs> you know, like we're kicking it, like we're getting to know each other versus – you know, you got to show me how much you know, you know, in the Lord. Like, come on. Man, that's, come on. Man. <laughs> let's, let's just that's chill that, that's that. That's that church of Corinth, bro, spirit. That's, that's, that's that want to content, you know. Yeah. You know, contentious spirit. You know, I, I, I see you coming and you're another saint. So all of a sudden, you know, I got to rival you, you know. Yeah. I got to, you know, get one up on you, you know, so that I can show my superiority you know, in Christianity. Well, I hate to inform you, Jesus is mm-hmm. that. So, I mean, we 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 got to decrease. You know, yes, that's 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 the that's the bottom line. Because if we don't decrease, he's not going to increase. You know, and, and yeah. so you know, I, I just thank God, man, for you know uh, the revelation, you know, that was given to you, 
you know, concerning this uh, concerning this radio show because you know the world has to know that you know we 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 are men, you know, that have you know surrendered their lives to the Lord and 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 have successfully transitioned, you know, and have proved you know society wrong, you know, uh, uh, that hey, you know, you can change. You know, yes. you 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 can re, be reformed. You know, mm-hmm. they, 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 you can be acclimated back into the communities and be successful. You know, and mm-hmm. and and your latter, you know, will be better than your beginning. You know, if you have chosen to follow after Jesus. You know, and so right. I I just thank the Lord that you're continuing to hammer that emphasis. You know, and you know we we we. We're going to keep doing what God has called us to do, you know, as far as kingdom demonstration. So whether yes, the churches receive us or not, you know, this season God has called us, you know, to demonstrate his love, you know, his power, you know, and and that, you know, not only the churches but the world mainly, you know, mainly, you know, that they might see him demonstrated in us, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. you know that's 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 so key, man. So so key to to understand, you know, um, where you, where you where where you've come out of, you know, just as come Paul on. reminded the church at Corinth in, um, I believe, the second chapter or first chapter towards the end. You know, he had to remind them. He let them know, listen, not not many of you, you know, were in the best conditions now. You know, <laughs> when Jesus called yeah. y'all out, you know, not many of you yeah. were wise, not many of you were noble, not many of you were anything. And I'm paraphrasing, yeah. but that is the just of what he was letting them know and reminding them, you know. And yeah. so not that we're stuck in our past, not that we're um, – I've heard some people lately, I don't – I constantly hear it all the time, people complaining about, you know, people sharing their testimony, where they came from, and it's like, why? Why do you? Why are you so upset about that? Like, yes, people can move on, but the testimony is the testimony. That's what makes yeah. them who they are today. You know, so like me, I'm, I'm gonna keep telling you where I came from because where I came from is the place God met me, and where I was at is the place God showed Himself to me and taught me. So I, I have Amen. to, I do. You know, we we pick we pick from the place we grew in. Everybody does that, whether you're a Christian or not. You're always pulling from what you've learned and where you came from. You're oh, everybody's doing that. Well, so, I mean, that's what the the entire Bible is, uh, is summed up as. You know, uh, someone else's testimony. You know, I mean, yes. when you when you you know uh, read. You know the Old and New Testament. You know the the the, the prophets and, and 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 the apostles. They're giving account of their testimony. You know mm-hmm. what took place, how they overcame. You know what God did, how He demonstrated His power. You know who mm-hmm. who who represented Christ in this generation. You know and and so you know that that's what that's why you know Revelations twelve and ten talks about you know overcoming. You know, mm-hmm. uh, by uh, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. But listen to this: and they love not their life, though, dog, to the death. You know, yeah. They love not yes, their sir. life. See, my life don't belong to me when it comes to my. I can't be ashamed of what God has brought me out of, what He delivered me from, what He set me free from. You know how He stood me up erect and causing me to represent Him in this generation. Nobody else is yeah. gonna see that if I don't testify concerning it. Yes. Absolutely. You know, people got to identify, you know. A lot of times when I'm evangelizing on the streets, you know, if I'm talking to somebody and all of a sudden they looking at me and they seeing what I'm driving, they seeing how I'm looking, they seeing how I'm smelling, you know, groomed up, chopped in, you know how we do it. Mm-hmm. You know, we represent the kingdom. And when they see that, you know, when they hear, yeah, bro, um, I was in prison for X amount of years or you know, whoop to whoop to whoop. Uh, yeah, I can get you a job. I mean, yeah, da 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 da. I'm the Joseph now in your life. I'm gonna make the decision. Absolutely. You know that. Hey, look, you can come sit at the king's table. 
You know, you, mm-hmm. you so it 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 it's imperative that they hear that because once they hear that, they know that God is real. Yes, sir. They know that the kingdom has come to them because when they mm-hmm. see it, now the proof's in the pudding. Man, I'm sitting up here homeless. I ain't never even been to prison. And this dude has been to prison for X amount of years, and now all of a sudden he, he, he's, he can get me a job. He, he, mm-hmm. he can get me off the streets. You know, he, he got resources to where, you know, I could use and not be homeless again and be reunited with my family or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. They see that, that that's how the power of God is demonstrated. You know, that's how his love is demonstrated through us. Through our testimonies, I believe. So, right, absolutely, that's good, bro. Man. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and and um, you know, and that and the devil really, you know, he really hates that. You know, and oh, and um, oh, before we go any further, man, shout out to you know our wives. Praise the Lord. Um, yes. Shout out to all the men of iron, uh, Pastor Bob, Elder Larry Davis. I know you mentioned them. I pray they're tuning in. I hope they are. Um, anybody else you want to shout out really quick, Pastor? Yeah. Mm. Well, shout out, shout out to uh, to my mom. Uh, she Amen. successfully went through her procedure, eighty nine. I mean, look, Ooh. look, praise the Lord. Call me, call me. Do you hear me? My, my, uh-huh. The Holy Spirit told me, you just go to sleep and rest easy and trust me. Mm. Man, and just and, 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 and just taking me into a deep sleep, man. And I woke up. I woke up to her phone call. Come on, man. And I mean, oh, amen. Sound, sounding strong. I'm not talking about, you know, when you get out of surgery, especially at 89, you know, you should, mm-hmm. you should be, you know, sounding kind of feeble and, 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 and your, you know, uh, voice card not strong. Man, strong. You know, mm. voice was carrying on the phone and, and said, God is faithful. Hey! Amen. Well, I, look, 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 look. I'm going to tell you yeah. right now. You, 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 I tell, I tell a Miguel that like we tell people, period. Look, I don't know about you, but I know that God is true. Yes, and, sir. And, <laughs> you know, I'm... I'm quick to let a person know, you know, I ain't got no reason to lie to you. <laughs> so, so right. you know, uh, I I don't have no reason to lie to you. And 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 God is so true and so faithful, you know. And 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 He really, really fulfills His words, His promises. They're really Correct. yes and amen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just grateful, man. And you know how excited I am about that. You know, I'm the baby of the bunch. You know, but, mm. you know, God, he just really, really showed up and just let me know, hey, look, you know, you, 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 you I got you, son. You, you, you just relax. This was on me. Don't worry uh, about this, Ram. This was on me. You, you, you don't have no control of that. All you do is just trust me. Trust me and continue to do, you know, what I ask you to do, and I'll yeah. take care of the rest. And so he's proved himself, bro. He's, he's once again. Man, amen, amen yeah, to that, man. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, did I shout out to Pastor G, man? Spirit of the Lord, no. Shout out to Pastor G. Shout out to my amen. pastor, Pastor G. Yeah. Amen, absolutely. So so to segue into that, <laughs> praise the Lord. This is, what, this is what we do, man. We just talk, you know. We just have a conversation. So for those of you who might be tuning in for the first time, I think we're on episode five now. Praise the Lord. Is it? So far. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving along, man. And um, if you haven't seen the other episodes or heard the other episodes, you know, go to Spreaker.com. Just look up uh, No Judgment Zone with uh, Miguel and Bishop. Um, you can catch up on all the episodes there. Um, yeah, and, so and we want to. I was. Hey, look. Oh, go ahead. Hey, look. And before I lose my train of thought on that. We we I did want to just say that you know we we are lifting up you know the family of of of, uh, of the brother Nipsey you know uh, oh, yeah, uh, out of Los absolutely. Angeles you know and 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 so and I know that that's a long topic we'll we'll that's a big we'll topic. consume the majority of the radio show talking about it because you know um, you know I, that that. I didn't I didn't know what his faith was 
Uh, but when it was mentioned to me, I decided to do some research. And, mm-hmm. you know, I would hear the brother acknowledge God, mm-hmm. but I didn't hear him acknowledge Jesus. And mm-hmm. so that, 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 that's where, I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, and it's okay, you know, uh, you know, because I know that he was God conscious. But I'm curious to know, you know, if, 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 if he had ever accepted Christ. That's what right. I'm curious to know. You know, I, I hear a lot of major athletes who I know that are saved. For a fact, they have mm-hmm. acknowledged out of their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Right? So, mm-hmm. I, you know, he came in the flesh, died, got up on the third day, and now he's at the right hand of God. They've acknowledged that. So I know that they're saved, and they had, you know, an association with him. So I, I'm mm-hmm. just I'm curious to know. That's why I'm putting it on the airway, you know, to know mm-hmm. if, you know, he had ever accepted the Lord. You know, I'm not worried about his carnal nature. Because, man, look, mm-hmm. I couldn't even go to the videos, bro. Right, 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 right. Look, look, as soon uh, as I see the introduction <laughs> of that, I was like, no. Nah. And all the ghosts was like, no, nah, don't even enter into that because, you know, you got to guard your eyes because he got some stuff on there. You know what I'm saying? Right. That are causing, you know, uh, 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 uh something to be birthed there. So I, I, I don't even go there, you know. So, right, right, you know, right. I, I just want to throw that out there, bro. No, uh, you know, uh, we won't we won't stay on that too long, but, you know, I, I will just say this. Um, definitely um, uh, from what I'm seeing and the impact, you know, that uh, his brother made, he was only 33, um, He's made a he's he's made a significant impact. They're even comparing it to you know like when Tupac died, you know. And I remember when Tupac died. I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I cried because that was my dude. You know that. You know that was what everybody right, right. do. And uh, just right. the things that he was, um, you know, you got to see their lives unfold. You know, um, things of that nature. But like with this brother, man, like the thing that's ringing out with this with this brother is the the impact that he's made as far as being as young as he was um and doing things that were outside of music um which is buying an entire block off of Crenshaw Slauson I mean that's I believe that's where he was at where he's from he's mm-hmm. in the 60s. Mm-hmm. and he bought an entire block an entire plaza almost he bought the whole thing mm-hmm. And yep. opened up businesses, clothing stores, um, gave people um, jobs, employed people, gave back to his community, bought real estate, um, helped people up, picked them, picked them up out of the street. And so he basically gave back to his hood. He right. He understood the community. Right. right. He, so he was an entrepreneur, uh, an entrepreneur in that entrepreneur. Sense as well. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in the industry – in the music industry, we know how it is nowadays. Everybody got some weird stuff. People are doing weird things. People are selling their souls to the devil. People are doing, you know, right everybody out. got some crazy stuff going on. But this was one dude that everybody was like, he's solid. He never sold out to nothing. He did things his way. He didn't. He wasn't enslaved to um, the music uh, industry itself no label, owned his own masters, owned his own label, owned his own thing. He was his own owner of things. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you would think you would say that he put himself on as far as the lingo goes, right? Yeah. So yeah. um so he just did a lot of things for, for the people. So he was a people's person. So um and his music was just getting to be more and more recognized. I started looking into him about a year ago. And that's what I noticed about about him was that everything he learned and the things he came, he was giving it back to people to learn and that they can do it for themselves and that they could, you know, basically like giving tips on insights that the industry wouldn't give people. Right. So right. he was championed as such, you know, and to go out the way he went out was like, oh. And that's a whole other subject. Again, like you said, we, we there's a lot to touch on both sides. Um, but overall, that's how people have, have taken this uh, this man's death, you know, in, in such a high regard and just like we know other people 
are not really real. They're they're all like I said, they're all slaves to something. But this was one guy that it's like why why him? Like out of yeah, everybody, well, you gonna take that dude out? Like what 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 was you know that dude in their book in their book in their yeah. book he was doing everything right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as the faith aspect that you talked about, I I only noticed because you know me, I'm looking for the same thing. You know, who are they acknowledging? You know, who? Yeah, and that's why who I'm are they giving because... credit to, right? Yeah. So as I as I was I was seeing more of him, I definitely would say that, like you said, he's God conscious, and I believe that he had. He had faith, but did I hear um, Jesus necessarily? Maybe I haven't dug into enough of his videos. See, and that's the whole, but that's the whole thing, Miguel. You said, I believe he has faith, but that's who is the faith. He's the right. author and finisher of it. So when I don't hear the faith, Jesus Christ, that's when, you know, the antennas might go up, and, and, I, mm-hmm. and I am just praying for his family and those who have followed him, because see, a leader, a leader is just someone who can influence somebody else's motivation. So mm-hmm. you know, he was a leader, you know. Yes. And 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 and, but you know, what are you leading people to? Mm-hmm. So that's the key, you know. And yeah. I'm not really, you know, I you you know me. I mean, I'm from, you know, uh uh uh, I'm from, you know, a generation that basically started, especially out of Los Angeles, you know, a lot mm-hmm. of what this generation, you know, you know, do and, and, and has, you know, looked up to for so many years, but it's corrupt. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? And so, you know, I, and even, even, even if I try to listen to the music, you know, which I, I can't relate to it. That's just mm-hmm. me and you, we don't, we don't talk, and I'm one of the ones that's from that particular era was getting down with the get down, you know, when it was time to get down. You understand what I'm saying? And so, right, for sure. It, it, but I can't, I can't relate sometimes to you know what's being said because you know uh, it's 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 the solution uh, that should be in the lyric is not there. You know, th- there should always be a way out. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, there should always so like, be a way out. Yeah, so that's the only way out that, you know, he offered as far as what you hear in his music, you know, is just simply, it, it ain't, I mean, just honestly, it's not Christ-centered. So the Come only on, solution we have he was, the only solution he gave out was just empowering people to be entrepreneurs and black people <laughs> to own their own stuff and give back to the community. That was... Yeah, that was you know what, and you know that only goes so far. So to even to to, to sum all that up, we know that what good is it to profit or to gain the whole world yet lose your own soul? You yeah, know, it, it's yeah, okay, yeah. it's okay to empower people, and as Christians, I don't I think sometimes we're emphasizing more of the 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 saved Christian, the biblical aspect, which we should, and we have every right to. But we do it in such a way that sometimes I think it's misinterpreted by other people in in acting like like well Christians ain't down for entrepreneurship. Christians ain't mm-hmm. down for, you know, people in the community. Christians ain't down for, you know any anybody else is not Christian. They're not supportive. So like, right, I right, heard right. that today. I've heard that from other Christian hip hop artists today and and since this happened, even, you know, because everybody's speaking on it right now. Um, so right. even people from that side is like, man, like, it seems like Christians don't really care. <laughs> you know, like, they're more concerned about whether uh, he was doing everything right or not. And they're, they're not looking at what he, and it's like, okay, I dig that. I dig that. But there's, there's another conversation to be had that only the Christian can have. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 and and it should be had because Jesus shows us both sides of the coin, not just one. Amen. You yeah. know, the enemy would love to fool us to only see one. Mm-hmm. And even in doing good things, we know that, for one, that, that doesn't gain you any access to heaven. 
No, that doesn't bro. gain you That's... access to, to anything that God requires. That's you it. know, that, that doesn't meet any of God's requirements. If I gave back to the community and if I built businesses and if I empowered other Don't people. Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing, mean, bro. Yeah, it doesn't meet God's requirements. So, right. Right. you know, and talking about it shouldn't make us seem like we're judgmental towards Something no, like because we're playing for family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, amen. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We have compassion. Amen. We we yes. We, we are praying for his family and you know uh, whoever you know followed this young man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, and that and we plan that God you know continue you know to keep the doors open. You know yes. for success. You know mm-hmm. for you know community building. Absolutely, no doubt about it. You know, so yeah. uh yeah, bro, I didn't mean to take you on that uh on that uh, on that tour, but you know how we do it, you know, the spirits like to win, so we just follow him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I th- I think it's good, you know, like I said, there's there's a broader conversation because it what came to my mind is like again, yeah, that's tragic, man. But you know, there's other things that I believe that are in play that God teaches us about prevention. Yes. You know, God God teaches us wisdom in certain things. And there's a there's another debate going on secularly as far as this, you know, some people are saying, well, this is why rappers or whoever talk about, you know, um leaving the hood and then why other people from the hood criticize the people that make it and don't come back. I mean, some right. people are like, you know, well this is why. This is but why maybe, you can't, and maybe you know, do that. And maybe that was part of it, though, Miguel. You know, maybe, maybe. And look, oftentimes, you know, we deal, you know, with the victim, and our compassion and our and our condolences are always there. But guess what? We have to look at that particular perpetrator. What yes. was going through his mind? See, mm-hmm. that's where I'm at. I want to deal with the people that are being stirred up by the mm-hmm. enemy to commit such crimes and to do such heinous things, you know, mm. that they yes. would take. Yeah, because, see, yes, if sir. you deal with that, that's laying mm-hmm. the axe to the root of the tree. So you yes. won't have none of the other. See, but that's what see, society don't want to deal with, those folks. Mm-hmm. That's why we still have what we have. You understand what I'm saying? And so, you know, uh, I just believe, you know, that this particular person, I don't even know too much about it, but, but, but you know, I just believe that, that this particular person, it ain't, I, I believe that this wasn't his first time encountering him. I mm-hmm. believe that they, 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 I believe it's just what you said. You know, this young man, you know, didn't pull him fast enough, mm-hmm. you know, to where he was desiring to go. You know, and mm-hmm. oftentimes, you know, the only reason why a person in that industry is desiring to be successful, that's what I respect about that young man, because he helped, you know, he, he, he gave back, just as you said. Other people, mm-hmm. they want to be successful just so that they can just, you know, uh, uh, reap the fat of the land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I, I got a, I got a, I, I got a house in Simi Valley or wherever in the hills, and I'm overlooking, you know, the freeways and all the long stand. Listen, you know, I, I got all of the women here on a Sunday, and, we, you know, and it's the summertime, and we got our drinks and whatever other kind of, you know, uh, 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 intoxication that might be out in the backyard. Mm-hmm. That, but that's not what it's about. That's not what it's right. about, you know. It, it's, about, it's about, you know, extending your hand to help somebody else. Mm-hmm. That's what Absolutely. it's about, you know. And hey, so, hey. you know, huh? Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and I so oh, no, so no. you know, when I see that, that that's my perception, you know. And but again, you know, I'm I'm definitely you know on the wall and in prayer, you know, concerning you know those followers you know, mm-hmm. of his, because so often, you know, when you follow someone and all of a sudden, you know, God decides that that person, you know, is, 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 is no longer here, you know, or, 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 or you know, uh, something tragic happens in the enemy because mm-hmm. he came to, look, 
God ain't a murderer. Exactly. It's the devil. And I didn't mm-hmm. even put his name on the airway that came to mm-hmm. steal, kill, and destroy. Exactly. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more yes. abundantly. So we know what arena that's in, you know, and and, 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 and I just pray for the covering, you know, mm-hmm. of his family and those who follow, you know, who mm-hmm. follow him. Because that's necessary, yeah. man. That's necessary, yeah. you know. So, and I don't think that we're going way out there. I think that this was something that needed to be touched on because, and we don't know now. Now, let me put this out there mm-hmm. because the seed of God is eternal. And I will say this the Holy mm-hmm. Ghost will minister to you even at the point of your transition out of this world. That's right. He said, I suffer that none should perish, but that all come to repentance. People are going to be surprised who they see in heaven Mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit's responsibility is to minister salvation to mankind. And at your last breath, at your last breath, Jesus and him being Lord can be introduced to you and you accept. And guess what? You in. Oh, mm-hmm. well, that's so strict. Christianity don't require, we sure don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All we yeah. require is that we believe. It's by grace through faith that we're saved, not by works, lest any man should boast. Amen. So we, right. we, we, I'm grateful that the opportunity you know, and the demonstration, you know, was the thief on the cross, and we know that. Yes. And by the way, Miguel, and by the way, me and my wife, we were left. By the way, they were convicted felons. And by the way, <laughs> yeah. and by the way, you know, Jesus was innocent, but by the way, he was convicted. So I know a lot yeah. of innocent felons. Amen. <laughs> Come on. That was convicted. Come on. Come on. A lot man. of people serving time. Death Row, Death Row been full of people. They don't kill full of people. They was talking about Texas and the percentage of they don't kill, I mean, innocent men. So, I mean, you can't even count. So, I mean, you know, that was for mm-hmm. a reason. God does nothing that do not have a significance. Mm-hmm. I mean, even down to the number. Yes. Even down to the number. Absolutely. A woman, guess what? Nine months to have a baby. Guess what? Nine gives to the spirit. Right. But there's a, there, there's a time, you know, but you mm-hmm. just got to search it out. Right? Right. So yes. thank God, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know, you said a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> man, yeah. like, you know, the, the, uh, another thing to note, too, you know, um, other violence that may not get reported um, that I know has, some of it has, um, you know, other violence breaking out because of this. You know, we want to pray over that, too, you know, that that dudes from his neighborhood and family and friends, because you know how that goes. You right. know. Um, Retaliation. Amen. Yeah, that, we, we want to we want to oh. pray over them too, man. We want to yes. pray for peace. We want to pray for peace because, you know, we don't want to escalate situations, especially given the media and those Come that on. do try to oppress minorities and people in those areas, people where they come. We don't want to give the enemy no more ammo. You know, right. we don't want to give right. him no more wind in this so we we gotta we gotta let and this is cliche to a lot of people but you really have to leave things in god's hands you know this is a time to really relinquish everything in his hands and seek him out you know um because i know i know what nipsey would have done he'd be he'd be want people for peace He'd want people to grow and do things, Amen. you know, that are right Amen. and help others. So, I mean, it's, it's just senseless. So we're praying against that as well because the devil would love to just use every situation, especially it getting such publicity. You know, he would love yeah. to add, you know, to that. And, by the way, the devil's a sucker, you know, and I was going to mention that earlier. A bum. You know, it, it, it's so funny that as soon as we started getting on the airwaves too, you know, he – he want to launch his little attacks. You know, he, he throwing his little tantrums towards me and, you know, and my family and little things here and there. It's like, and it's, and, and I don't get discouraged because we, we talked about this 
just the other day. Like, man, we know what it, what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we Come know on, man. He, he's upset that we're infiltrating his airwaves, you know, because he's the little G, you know, the god of the air, the god of this world, and he runs, he rules the airwaves. So come on, man. Know, he, come on, he don't man. want he don't want us speaking, you know, and telling the truth, you know, of who Jesus is and what he does in people's lives, you know, because that's the last thing he wants. You know, he, he, forget. he ain't going to heaven. He don't. Yeah, he sure he, as heck don't want you to go to heaven. Yeah, he don't <laughs> get no get back. He forfeited yeah. him. Exactly. Yeah. No redemption for him. him. Exactly. None whatsoever. And you know what? So that's that's the that's the thing that I you know what? And I'm gonna say this real real quick. He tried to attack me so tough, and I always say that he tried to attack me so tough. And, and I'm sitting in the doctor's office just the other day. He tried mm-hmm. to attack me so tough. I looked at that devil. Let me tell you something. I looked at the doctor. I said, No, nah, bro, I don't see that. <laughs> Yeah, come on. I looked at the doctor, well, and the doctor thought I was crazy. I said, no, the devil is a lie. I looked right at him. I said, I don't want to see that junk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I, and I, I, hey, I'm putting it out there, and I can't wait until next week for the testimony. Or, or whenever we come back on, I can't wait because guess what? I'm a te- we were talking about testimony. I'm going to testify about that very thing. And guess what? Prove that Jesus Christ is Lord. I ain't going to say that now. But I'm going to come back and prove the very word of God as being the source of our life today. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I want to, um, it seems like time just be flying. Uh, I but know, I, bro. I want to, I want to, I want to talk to you, bro. It's, it's all right. It's all good. Um, that's how we judge uh, time maybe, and it flies. Maybe Batman will give us the extension. <laughs> Batman will give us an extension one day. For, he'll extend the contract. <laughs> Be gracious, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> amen, amen. So, so, um, you know, speaking along those lines, you know, just a scripture that just came to me, man, and, and we'll talk about this as we exit out here. Um, there's a there, there's a lot of um, scriptures in, in the Proverbs where you know God is talking about avoiding things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there, there's there's uh, so many, you know, the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. You know, he, he that keeps his way preserves his soul, and a righteous man foresees evil and hides himself. And, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that God guides us from, man. And, and I kind of want to, you know, with everything that's happened, you know, we always have to do our part. You know, Paul said, where there is good, evil is always with me. So mm-hmm. we understand that there is evil in the world. You know, there yeah. is a sin. There is sin that has been decaying the world for over 6,000 years. I don't care what the mm-hmm. evolutionists say. The, 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 the earth is not billions of years old. It's roughly around 6,000 plus years old. It's not billions and billions of years. So... And I know that because I've been I've been watching a lot of apologetics on evolution, man. <laughs> so, um, so you know, uh, uh, um, evil is in the world because of sin. The issue is sin. Amen. People Amen. are committing crimes, hurting people. So when I see the news and all this bad news, I'm never surprised because I right. know the root of it is sin. Just like we we're talking about, and and so, um, but with with the sin problem, there is an answer to be free from it. Yes, it's not going to go away until God comes and judges the earth. Mm-hmm. But we can be free from it. We mm-hmm. don't have to be enslaved to it. We don't have to give in to it, there is a way out, which is Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And so the word is always preventive. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's always giving us instructions on how to avoid certain things. And I said this yeah. early on in my life, Pastor. I said this early on in my life, you know, and I come from, you know, broken home, the streets, imprisonment. You know, I, I have that background, too. Um, and Jesus changing my life 
has taught me the truth about those things, the truth about mm-hmm. um, how I was deceived, the truth about how people in the game deceive, you know, and how all, all of it is clear now, right? And, and so I, I'm like, you know, I come from that, but, you know, I understand that my foot shouldn't even be anywhere in that anymore. And that's, that's, right. not to, that's not to say that I don't love people from, you know, whatever hood you're from, anybody from the streets. It doesn't mean that I don't love those people. That doesn't mean that um, I shun people and act like I'm better than somebody because I'm not there anymore or, you know, just wherever I got delivered from, I'm not acting like I'm better than that. If anything, right. I'm more compassionate, loving, and understanding because I came from that. Yeah, we, want you you know, right. we want you out. We want you out. So it's like I I found the way out. Like Come on. we're going somewhere now. Now that God is in my <laughs> life, Jesus is in my life, we're going somewhere. That's right. That's you know, right. when you was in the streets, you just a zombie around the same people as you are. Dead man walking, no life. Well, Come on. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're just, mm-hmm. you know, another day in the hood. Right. But but Jesus has delivered us from such things, and so now we're trying to be the example of saying, hey, follow me as I follow Christ. This is the way. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not, you know, obviously with events that we have and, like, you know, me as a, as a Christian hip-hop artist, you know, there's going to be people that are going to come. They're going to enjoy shows. They might not be saved, but they love rap music, so they're going to check it out. You know, we're always going to have situations when we're dealing with cats who may not, you know, be, right. you know, walking upright or, or, you know, they might still be banging or, or still on the streets doing what they do. Right, but right. I'm not, I'm not about to get in bed with that again. No. I can be cordial with you. I can talk to you. I'm going to handshake you. I'm going to love on you. I'm going to dap you up. But at some point, it's time for me to go home. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and you're talk demonstrating the kingdom. That's the, mm-hmm. You're demonstrating the kingdom, man. I, I, I discerned that a person was going to rob me one day when I was on the streets just kind of just talking to cats and evangelizing, you know, and the Holy Spirit, you know, just, you know, kind of let me know, hey, look, this person's plotting, and he's looking. You know what? I walked right up to the person, bro. Guess what? Pulled out a 50 and be like, hey, bro, the kingdom is different from the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is different from the kingdom of the world. He said, oh, yeah? yeah. I said, yeah. I said, because guess what? While you're planning to try to take something, I'm going to give mm. it to you. Yeah, yeah we on. get it. That, that's the you. Yeah. I say, that dude's eyes, bro, was as big as a, a, a Susan B. Anthony dollar bill. <laughs> Because that was, and, and I thank yeah. God, because that was the advantage that Jesus had. He was able to read the heart of people, you know. And yes. God just gave me, you know, a little word of knowledge to say, look, that person right there, this is what he's, you know, plotting. I walk right up to him and say, no, bro, this is what we do. The kingdom of the world takes, but we give. Mm. So guess what? Mm. If you act, guess what? You're going to get it from the That's kingdom. That's right. Supposed to anyway. That's right. Yeah, you know, and 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 so we understand that you know love is what's going to you know drive out those things. You know, love is what's going to drive out. Yeah, that people are plotting that thing. You know, not to jump around, and I'm not it's still the same thing. But I, I was thinking about you know because again because I do the music thing, and it's like you know there's something about you know. You know, secularly, they, they're always tracking your numbers. They're, tra- they're tracking your streams, you know, yeah. they're tracking how many people follow you. You know, but in the Christian community, man, let me tell you something. It, it, it's not as rewarding in the sense of what secular people get. Because yeah, they, yeah. And I heard a Christian pastor talking about this one time about another award show. You know, Jerry Royce was mentioning the award shows. But this guy, he was part of. Um, this particular award show, and he was talking about they was changing certain things, and basically, in other words, if you're not popular, you're not gonna get an award next time. That's that's how that works. If you're not, that if sounds you don't like have middle streams, school. 
Right. If you if you don't got streams and you don't you know because they're 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 referencing it to you not putting in the work. That's what they're looking at. Okay. But okay. But 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 in my spirit, I'm like, what I do. You can't track with a number. You mm, cannot, say that, Miguel. You you cannot. There's no algorithm to track that, what bro. I do in God. You Come can't on, track the P. I can, in a sense, from the people that that have shared. I, I do have a number, but there's numbers that I don't know about. But I know for mm. a fact that what I have done, which is the Holy Spirit through me, Come on. is is you you can't track the number of people that this has stopped from committing suicide. <laughs> Come on, yeah. You can't track the number of people that have stopped doing drugs or stopped from <laughs> robbing somebody or stopped right. from hurting Murdering a woman or, did yeah. it or killing some. See, you can't track this. This is what I'm in this for. And that <laughs> Nipsey thing, that Nipsey thing motivated me in this sense. I still got work to do in this hip-hop thing. Ooh, I'm telling so, you, bro, that, don't tap out. That motivated me in it because it's like, nah, mm. this is important. This is still important because Christian hip hop is bringing real context. It's bringing reality on, and bringing truth. So I, I, right. I'm just encouraged by it. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm making it more of my thing to reach out to you know more Christian hip hop artists, you know, and and to kind of you know, hey man, we got to do this. We got to bring the kingdom culture out here. Yeah, you know that's what I'm on. It's kingdom culture for the rest of this year. I'm pushing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come so on. I just wanted to share that, man, because you know I don't want people to be discouraged by what 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 uh, what, what the, you the algorithms can't track. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Forget all that. Right. Forget the stream. Right, Forget right, all that. Because right. what God does is eternal. You never know when you hit heaven. You never know how many people be there just because of something that you did. Come on, bro. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Incorrupt. That is the key. Yes, and he who wins souls is wise. Is wise. That That's right. That is the key. Matter of fact, Bishop, God is so good. We just got extended um, another 15 minutes. <laughs> Praise the <laughs> Lord. We got another 15 Hallelujah. minutes. Hallelujah. Thanks to Batman. So, 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 um, thank you, Batman. We appreciate you. So, so like Amen. that, that is what that has moved me to do that. I got to continue to speak truth. I got to right. continue to give the gospel to people. I got to die right. to myself, Bishop, because, you know, I, sometimes I want to just get comfortable, but I know I can't. Come on. <laughs> you Come know on. what I'm saying? I have to get yeah. uncomfortable. You know, I have to be challenged constantly. I have to be stretched out. This thing is a marathon. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I, I'm encouraged, you know, I'm discouraged by the tragedy, but I'm encouraged at the same time because I know that there is still work to do. And Come God on, has man. called me and he's called you. And I thank God Come on. again Come on. that I know that I'm equipped. I know that. I'm not Come somebody on. in the church that is lost while sitting in the church. You know what I'm saying? I'm not somebody who's not aware of God's calling and gifting in my life, just like you're not. So I thank Amen. God that I'm Amen. not helpless, that I'm not just saved but helpless. No, I'm saved, and I know that I've been given a commission. <laughs> you know what that's I'm right. saying? That's and right, that's bro. That's why the devil's so mad at us, because we know yeah. who we are. That's right. You know, so I want to encourage people, man, listen, it's time to shed religion. It's time to stop waiting on what man says and do on, and answer the call that God has given to you, that you know in your heart and in your spirit that God has given you to do. That's right. That's right. That is what That's the right, Christian bro. needs to know. Yeah. It's time yeah, out yeah, for yeah. that. It's time out playing church, doing the routine. That's going to get killed pretty soon. That's going to die out. I just know it. Oh, bro, it is. It is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is. Because people That's... are sick of that religion stuff. People are yeah, sick bro, of the program. Um, t- the program, bro, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Look, look, look. The program will hold things up. 
God, you know, God, God can't be held up. That's right. That's why. That's why we're stepping out of the box. That's why we're never. We 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 could never be confined to that. That's why God mm-hmm. has introduced this, you know, yes. to the world because you know we we God has brought us from a place of confinement, but showed us how to be free in that place. Ooh, so, come on. I mean, I mean, we've already been to school, so we 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 we're not. We're not we're not gonna be here out of here and then, you know, regret after the Lord has already showed us. No, I showed yes. you how to walk in liberty. In a place of confinement that man said, Guess what, you couldn't do it. See, mm-hmm. you, you 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 made your first album that and it wasn't supposed to be done. How do you mm-hmm. do that in prison? Come on. There's no way that you should be able to do that in prison other than it being supernatural. You know, and you, you, you see, see, see. First of all, you was just led by the spirit. See, mm-hmm. and when you follow in the spirit, the spirit ain't gonna lead you into a brick wall. No. Remember that when Peter, he, 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 he was tapped by the angel. You know, he was mm-hmm. in confinement, and the angel slapped him and woke him up and said, "Come on." And he was like, "Yeah, Man, is this real?" But he followed him out. See, if he wouldn't have followed it, then he would have panicked and said, no, man, I'm not following you. Look, I'm incarcerated, and I know if I leave, guess what? Now I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to be on America's Most Wanted, you know, and I'm yeah. a fugitive on the run, and blah, blah, blah. No, but guess what? He said, no, uh-uh, that's God. I got to follow him. That's Come what on. we decided to do It's follow it. You know? Yes. He woke us up, and now we said, okay, Lord, you walk us out. We're following you, and we're going to continue to do just that. Because guess what? We, we, we see the world, man. What it is is the world, they see the distinction, and you hear it. It's holiness. Mm-hmm. But they don't realize, see, they think that holiness looks like something because of religion. Oh, you can't wear a dress or you can't wear pants. You must wear white mm-hmm. every first Sunday. And, oh, man, every second Sunday you got to wear black suits and all of that craziness, you know. And, I mean, you know, I, I, I went through that the majority of my life, you know, barely could read, but I could turn mm-hmm. to the back of a program and read some bold letters saying dinner will be served. You know, that, 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 that was a highlight. So, I mean, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's just time out, you know, for the church, you know, to stop, as you said, programming, you know, and wanting people to think that, you know, holiness got to look like what you have described it to look like. Exactly. Holiness is a person. It's Jesus mm. Christ. That's right. See, and that that's what people are missing. You know, they feel like, oh, I can't wear a snapback or I can't come to church like this or I can't integrate looking like this or being myself, you know. I mean, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. God Mm -hmm. created you that way. That's how he wired you. Yeah, come on. You know, that's who he he, he he wants you to be just who you are, and he'll demonstrate himself through you. Mm -hmm. See, See, that's the thing. You know, people, 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 oh, you want evidence of the Holy Ghost? Guess what? Love somebody. Mm, that's right. Cooperate with it and love somebody. That's it right there. That, love somebody. See, it's easy to love somebody, you know, in my family or blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. No, 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 no. But love somebody outside of that. Cooperate with the Holy Ghost and loving that person that is unlovable. See, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. going to tell you something. If you took a census right now concerning Christians being able to love certain people, I guarantee you they tap out. Oh, well, I can't love that. There's no mm. way I can love that. There's no yes. way. Well, guess what? There's no way that you probably have the Holy Ghost in you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because, yeah, 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 because that's what the Holy Spirit does. He brings mm-hmm. you to a place that you're able to love what is unlovable. Because guess what? Yes. We were unlovable. But God didn't oh, yeah. share his love to us, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I, Absolutely. I know I was unlovable, bro. That, so it ain't yeah. to me even. I raised my hey. hand and said, man, look, I was an unlovable cat. Unlovable. Hey, listen, I met my wife while I was locked up. <laughs> I, I, I remember, my wife bro, when you I was wrote a song. Up. It was yeah, prophetic. I mean, you, you wrote a song. <laughs> it was so funny because I, I was, 
and I mentioned it because of what you're saying. I came across a, a post earlier. Some dude, it was a meme, but it was like clowning, disrespecting women, you know, um, that that what they called them, he, he called them uh, desperate because, you know, they they end up getting in a relationship with some guy in, in prison or, you know, in jail. And it's like, man, you know, what's so funny is, you know, whatever. But I know that, you know, there are men of God that are incarcerated, women of God that Come are on, man. that are, are praying and, and, and um, even those that might have uh, had a bad past with a woman, may have been divorced at some point, you know. I know that they're redeemed, and I know that they're Come on. looking for that good thing. They're looking for that second chance. They're praying, Lord, if, if you give me another wife again this time, you know, I'm going to love her the way you, 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 you commanded me to love her, you know, and, or, or, or a young brother who ain't never had a wife, you know, Lord, give me a wife. You know, I want to I wanna do this right. You know, I want to have a family. You know, there are men and women in prison just like that, you know, and, the finished and God, product, bro. Yeah, God is not limited, you know, by circumstance. I got to keep saying that. God's not limited to our circumstances. You know, he, he's not bound. If if you're in a prison, guess what? He come right up in that prison. No big deal. He runs the prison, too. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, but you know it, it doesn't I mean, matter. Yeah, that's the whole thing, bro. It's, it's, it's knowing that God is the potter and we're the clay. God mm, is yes. making and shaping men and women that are in that place, and mm. they are beca- and they and and when and, and when it's finished, you're now God's able to display and feature His favor in you, you know, mm-hmm. adorn you, you know, in, in front of the world and say, "Hey, look!" I remember someone was talking to us about jury. I remember that when we was locked up. And that person out of New York, yeah. and, 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 yeah. and he spoke that prophetic word and said, you guys are jury in a box, under Ow. guard, Ow. under guard. Something that's mm. valuable is always under guard. You don't just leave it in the open for anybody to just come and deal with it and take it and abuse it and not know the value of it. Yes. You know, so come I on, thank man. God for that, bro, that, you know, we are the jewels of God. And, yes. and, and and as a matter of fact, that ain't nothing but the Holy Ghost. Cause I was talking about my little, I was talking to my little sister, my little play sister. I was talking to mm. her about this very subject, and I could mm. I could tell in my spirit that she wasn't comfortable with it because of you know she she she's not in the out of the naked eyes she can't see that. Right, but right, see, right. It's right. it's the one that with the clergy collar, that mm. a hoodwinker. I'm yeah. just keeping it real, and she'll yeah, think that he's like good. this. You know, uh, 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 in the public, but then behind closed doors, guess what? He's a killer behind. Mm-hmm. I'm just keeping it real. You know oh, how yeah. we talk. So anyway, yeah, yeah, you know, how, yeah, yeah. God, God, again, he never, he never comes the way you expect him to come. You know, but when he when he comes through, oh man, it's gonna be above and beyond what you could even think of or imagine. You know, and that's an understatement, you know, but that's his word. <laughs> but that's a, but it is kind of an understatement because it's like, man, God, God really can do above and beyond what you think. Listen, man, t- five years ago, I was getting out of prison. I didn't think I would be a homeowner, but guess what? I knew Come that on, through bro. him, I knew that through <laughs> him, all things are possible. <laughs> I didn't know that. See, sometimes... Sometimes God will give you a glimpse on what he needs to give you a glimpse, and there's other things you just got to keep walking. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's and, right. And, and so right. that is where God gets me. You know, when God gets me, it's like, man, I was just I was just walking. Lord, I'm just, I'm just following you, and all of a sudden, bam. Hey, look. <laughs> you know look, I was in Look, let me get up. I was interviewing a brother a few months ago, and that brother said, and he, said, and he was really, really transparent with me. He said, look, man, he said, I'm. I'm a felon, blah, 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 da, 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 and this is what took place, and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I told him, I said, you know, and I was like, he was like, well, I know we're going to do a background check. I said, hey, bro. I said, that got you in. I said, we, mm. we, we don't even need to go no further in this interview. Mm. Yeah, that got you in. That, That's a word for care. somebody right now. Yeah, right now. That's that got word. you in, bro. That's what That's got you word. in. So, 
Don't even worry about it. We we you come on back. We are gonna take care of everything else. And guess what? That brother wound up being one of my best employees. Mm. So Amen, I was with Joseph in his life at that particular time. You know to say, hey, yeah. bro, it don't matter what you done, where you been, you know what took place. But guess what? God has made the crooked places straight for you. The doors Amen. have been open and no man can close. So come on in. <laughs> Amen, man. Let's let in closing, man, let let that be a, a word to somebody right now. If you heard the pastor right now, that if 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 you ain't heard God at all tonight, take that to the bank. You got a bad you got an <laughs> ugly past? You got an ugly past? Oh, you you've done what? You you've done some looking gruesome for you. things? Some dark things. You who we want. Some things. Come on. Some, yeah, some things that, that that you don't think you could be forgiven for, or or some things you think you can't take back. Well, guess what? Those, those are the credentials. That's those, what qualifies. That's it. Come on. Man, that's what that's what qualifies you to be accepted by God. He is. You're the guy or the girl that He's looking for. You know. Come and on. so before we end, you know, we we want you to. Have that opportunity, man, to invite Jesus into your heart. It doesn't yeah. matter what you've done. It doesn't matter where you come from. It come doesn't on, matter man. what circumstances you're in mm-hmm. right now. Jesus can lift you up, bring you out, and bring you through. And a lot of times he'll just bring you through because he loves you enough to change you and to make you more come like on. him. You know, so That's tonight, if, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, all you have to say is Jesus. I invite you into my heart to give me for my sins. Wash me, make me white as snow. And from this point on out, I will follow you and I will trust in you. And if you just say that simply into your heart, you get saved. You'll be born again right now. If you were to lose your life after saying those there, that very prayer, you will wake up in God's kingdom. That that is very it. It don't matter what you've done. You could have lived like the devil your entire life, but the moment you accepted Christ, you woke up right with him. And you are that's seated right. in heavenly places with him. And that's our aim here at No Judgment Zone. That's why it's called No Judgment Zone, because we no God wants the ugliest zone. of the ugliest. <laughs> you know? And, and we're yeah. not ever going to judge. We're not ever going to condemn, because, for one, that's not even our job. That's not even what we're here for. Come on. So, you know, um, again, you know, I'm encouraged, Pastor Man. Thank you for Me your words too, of wisdom. Thank you for Amen. letting God use you. I'm charged up. I'm probably going to be fidgety going to bed now. You know. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Thank you to Batman for extending our time tonight. Um, thank yeah. you for his heart. Lord, continue to bless him, bless his ministry, bless everything yes, that he puts his hand yes, to. Jesus. And we're just so yes. grateful, man. Um, so you yes. listen to the No Judgment Zone. Catch us every Thursday night at 8 p.m., West Coast time, 11 p.m. East Coast time, man. And and until the next time, we love you, and God bless y'all, man. Have a good night. God speak. Amen. From the bottom, you successful in the things we striving for. My dude, you got them. I said you stand corrected, cause I just can't take that credit. I ain't nothing, I'm just someone who believes the one that did it. This yeah. is in my life, this is my life. I'm about with a price that's right, right? This is in my life, this is my life. I'm full of the light, no night, night. This is in my life, this is my life. He picked me back up, show me his love. Rescue the fuck up and watch by the blood. Don't sit there and tell me that wasn't in there. There ain't nothing like this feeling that I'm feeling. I work with love, but now I'm fair, and boy, I'm glad I'm living. I should have died on Benson, man, I should have died in prison. But God, he picked me up and filled my cup, and now I'm sitting. Look at my life, you see that I'm blessed, huh? Came up out of the mess, huh? A beautiful wife, a beautiful son, huh? You can see I done came off. Call me that favor. He said I'm the salt of the earth, that's favor. I'm sending my praises up. Nothing I do will ever repay. Bought me a 
house, I'm fresh out of debt. Credit scores is 740, that's no brag, I give God the glory. You wouldn't hate if you knew my story. I wasn't smart, they called me stupid. My homeboys was so whooping. Some cousin and some blood, and now I got the truth and I give it to them. This is in my life, digging my life. I'm about with a price that's right, right. This is in my life, digging my life. I'm full of that light, no night, night. This is in my life, digging my life. He picked me back up, show me his love. Rescue the thug, I've been watched by the blood. So shit, they were tell me they wasn't enough. Oh, look, look, it's angry.